Okay, people. <laughs> I was just lounging around the crib, okay? And I was getting up to go. As you can see, I am dressed for fitness, okay? And yes, it's 1249. I've been all kinds of like crap thrown at me this morning dealing with my PayPal account, but we ain't gonna talk about that. Okay, because you know what? You don't dwell on the negative. You focus on the positive. Okay, and this is what I just got in the mail, y'all. Yeah! We've been selected. We've been selected. Congratulations. Your family has been selected as contestants for the family feud. The family feud, baby. Steve Harvey is going to meet the Halls. Mm-hmm. I don't think you're ready. Do y'all think you're ready? OMG. So, I am about to call the rest of my family and let them know that we have been selected. Now, I'm going to take a picture of this, and I'm about to post this on Facebook and Instagram, because you know I know they all be on there, and they about to be like... I'm going to call out y'all personally, the ones that I can get in touch with immediately. And that will be Ashley, Tiff, Demetrius. I'll text Tobias, and I'll probably have to Facebook my cousin Javon. But, hello! Hello! Baby! Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, while I'm making these phone calls, I got to be charging my, my devices. I need to charge my Fitbit for 20 minutes, so it'll be ready to go when I go. And I need to charge my phone, because y'all, I'm on 20%. So, y'all know your girl don't live like that. Uh-uh, no. My daughter does, but not I. I'm about to make these phone calls, and then I'm about to go get my exercise regimen in. And yes, this morning I have made a phone call to my primary care physician, and I am awaiting her phone call. So, let the waiting game continue. Mm -hmm. So, as you can see, I am not letting nothing phase me, because like I said, I am not claiming it. I'm not. My mama did not raise no punks. Mm -mm. She had girls, but we ain't no punks. That's the show. Mm -hmm. So let me get my life all the way right and let my family know that we finally got the postcard. Mm -hmm. Talk And I just saw this. Yes, you see it, right? <laughs> I was waiting on this call from you. You was what? And I, I said I was waiting on this call from you. That's why I ain't really been calling you. But I screenshotted my Forget messages, me. and I have been calling you, and I screenshotted my text messages to show you, cause I showed I had done got a new hairdo and everything, and I said, "What you think about this stuff?" And you never replied before I got okay. This and is. Then I this is what I think you was doing. Because I just deleted a bunch of text messages on my phone last night. Woo! All right, y'all. God is good. God is great. God is all that. He is the man. Every day, all day, he is the man. Okay? So, just got off the phone with my women's health. And she just told me that she got my results back and that she said what they saw, she said the right breast was fine. She said the left breast, they saw a benign growth. That there were two options that um, she said it was not even a centimeter. She wanted me to know that. It wasn't even a centimeter. However, she said there's two routes to take just for precautionary. She said we could check it in six months by ultrasound or we can go ahead and schedule a biopsy to go ahead and rule out anything. What you think I suggested? Let's go ahead and do the biopsy so we can rule out everything. So she told me that I can come up to the office and she will have my referral waiting at the desk for me. So what you think I'm about to go do right now? Yeah, I'm about to go get that referral. So I can go ahead and schedule that appointment and possibly get in sometime this week. And Stephanie got to get this um, completely off of me. Woo! God has given me relief, though. He has definitely given me relief 
to know that I'm okay. And she just explained to me women with large breasts have lots of fibrocystic tissue in their breast. And, you know, she said, it's not hard. She said, yet it, it's, it, it, it can move. So she told me she was like, if that's the route you want to go, she was like, definitely. Um, I will have the paperwork waiting for you. And you can go ahead and schedule that. And she said, and you will get your results directly from them. So I'm about to go put on them kicks and I'm about to take my ass um, over to that base and go get my stuff. Do you hear me? Mm -hmm. So God is good all day, every day. God is good and good is God. Yes, he is. He's good all the time. All the time, God is good. I just got to give the Lord his praise. Woo! Let me do a shout! Woo! Yes! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Woo! So, I swear to y'all, I feel like relief. And I was not, and I did not spend the weekend stressed out and worried about this. However, like I said, I'm human. And clearly, I'm watching stuff on TV and I'm seeing stuff dealing with breasts and stuff like that. So, you know, it keeps it at the forefront of your mind. And honey, they on my body, so they're going to be at the forefront of my body, okay? So, Whew, just makes, makes, just makes life that much more rewarding. <sighs> I won't wish this on my worst enemy. And I don't think I have enemies like that. So I wouldn't even worship it on somebody that that I don't like that much. I wouldn't wish it on nobody. Not sickness or nothing. Mm -mm. So let me go get my shoes on so that I can go and get this referral. Y'all, Jada is such a punk. <laughs> such a punk. <sighs> Came. I got the referral mm -hmm. and we just got flu shots. I was that kid that cried before he even touched me. <laughs> She's so whack. I was that when I was younger. I'm not that anymore. My mama didn't raise no punks okay. and I ain't raising no punks either. Okay. But she just had a punk ass moment. Okay, now what if it was a knife? You'd be scared too. First of all, why would I take you to the doctor's <laughs> office for him to stick a knife in you? Make some sense. Make some sense. Okay. Make some sense. That make sense. Now okay. I'm gonna go run in this commissary and get me some aloe juice and an onion because I need an onion. Who runs out of onions? Can I stay in the car? Did I run out of onions? Um, no. I have onions in the pantry. I'm pretty sure you stack one up. I haven't cooked anything. <sighs> she acting like a punk still. Y'all, Jada is so greedy. I'm not greedy. Daddy grabs all the chips. Just came for daddy's me. job to sign something I had to sign. He gave all the chips to me. I didn't ask. All I asked was the barbecue. And he started thinking about you. He said, I know your mama likes popcorn. I just wanted some gum. He gets tons of gum from his job. Get free gum. <laughs> so back to driving. Because he, he looking like, why is my wife still sitting out there? All right. Here we and go. for the record, these are oven baked. Oven baked. I wasn't too nice karate to talk with my mouth open, right? Like, you know, that class is not cool. Karate right, class. It teaches them. kids to fight each other. No, it teaches discipline, actually. What is that supposed to mean? You want us to fight? Oh, you daddy need to check out that place. Sushi like Bakaza. Okay, y'all. Your girl is in the bed. I have I have gotten all of my errands ran today. The only thing I was not able to do was book that appointment for the biopsy. And I will be doing that first thing in the morning. I just can't tell y'all. I am ready to go to sleep tonight. And just knowing that I'm going to sleep tonight with a clear conscience. Yeah, that's important. Okay? And, oh, my neck hurt, y'all. I'm going to bed with a clear conscience and no worries. None. None, none, none. So, I had to put my identifier back on, okay? Because I told y'all when I was at the thrift bus tour the other day, that was being looked for, okay? So, I have been tagged. Tagged. Eclectic Nista. 
And y'all are eclectics too. So, congratulations to us, okay? Yay! <sighs> Just celebrate those milestones. Next milestone up, 2,500. So, tomorrow, since I actually feel like doing this now, I'm going to tally up the votes for the t-shirts. I can already tell y'all one that was definitely in a lead, and that was I Love my mister and i want to say team eclect mister that also was in the lead the other ones those other ones i'm gonna have to tally up so that i can go ahead and get ready for this 2500 subscriber giveaway and like i said y'all i was gonna give 10 t-shirts away and the rest i will put on my website to sell let me just share this with y'all and I'm about to shut this thing down because Mr. Long is on his way home and I have cooked real quick. We are having cube steaks, mixed vegetables, and brown rice tonight. I was mix missing an ingredient, the onion that Jada told y'all I had in the pantry. That's why it's called Stephanie's Kitchen because I know what's in my kitchen and I should have followed my gut instinct and I should have took my ass in that commissary and got that damn onion. But because I listened to the little mini me, it was missing a flavor of onion. But you know I made do. Mm -hmm. With all of that being said, once again, I just want to thank every single one of y'all. I definitely got some prayer warriors on my side. And I am so thankful to feel and be so loved. Like I said earlier in the same vlog, I don't think I have any enemies. And if I do, uh, they are really undercover. However, I think for the most part, I do have lots of people who love me and I love them. Yes, I'm a family girl. All day, every day. Y'all see my plate? It's empty. Y'all had dinner in bed tonight. I deserve that. Yes, yes, and yes. Thank y'all once again. Your girl is feeling good. I'm feeling back on 10. Because I can be honest with you all and say the past couple of days, I've been on like four. Four. That was my radar. But I'm back on 10. I'm back on 10. And... I was talking to somebody earlier and she was telling me that the biopsy is a painful procedure. However, I don't care. I gave birth. I gave birth and I have survived a kidney infection. And if anybody has ever had a kidney infection, a kidney infection is worse than giving birth. Do you hear me? Worse. Worse. So, I could suck it up for 10 minutes and get this biopsy and so we can exactly identify it and know its um, status and all of that and just put it put it aside my mom she was telling me that I should just wait the six months I told her it ain't even in my spirit to do that God is telling me to just to fall through go through with the whole process and just get it on record so that we know it's all good and that's how I'm gonna leave it we know it's all good I will see you eclectnistas tomorrow same time same place back on 10 okay okay and i want y'all to have a lovely night because i'm about to have a lovely night i have a slight headache and i'm about to take this big ass bun out my head because i think this is the culprit and i'm gonna sit here and go through pinterest and figure out how i'm about to get my hair done next week i kind of want to do these braids again but i kind of want to do the gray again i like the gray ones i like the nice neutral effect it gave and i also like the cankle on i don't think i'm a fan of the marley i think i don't i don't like that i missed length and that um i like the feel and the texture of the cankle on versus the marley braids so i want to do them one more time because i'm about to hit the gym real hard and i can't be sweating out no pixie cut right now i'll be going back to my pixie hairstyle in december See y'all eclectnistas tomorrow. Much love from your girl Steph, aka eclectnista herself, aka to some of y'all, Mama Steph. I love y'all. Thank you. Good night. Rocky! Come on! Yeah, I gotta call Rocky. I got to know where Rocky ass at all the time, okay? Mm hmm. 
Toja.